In this video, we're going to review sugar, the legal injustice, and why we are having an obesity epidemic. If you look at this ad from the Sugar Information Incorporated, this is what they were telling us about sugar. How sugar, uh, why so many Weight Watchers find sugar the spoonful of prevention. They tried to tell us that sugar was good for us and that uh, smaller portions with sugar in your diet, you're happier with smaller portions of everything. Try it and see. It was all geared towards making us consume more and more sugar as the years went by. Far grass is the fatty liver of a duck or goose that has been force-fed corn through a feeding tube. Is the sugar food industry far grassing us? You know that uh, we are being force-fed sugar in so many forms, and in this video we're going to review how they do it. Never in history have people been exposed to so much sugar. In the last 30 years, sugar consumption has gone up 100%. If you walk the aisles of your local supermarket, you will find that 74% of packaged foods contain sugar. They hide sugar in at least 61 different names on food labels. They include common names such as sutrose and high fructose corn syrup, as well as barley malt, detrose, maltose, and rice syrup, among others. Added sugar is hiding in foods that many of us consider healthy, like yogurt and energy bars. It is also added to foods such as pasta, pasta sauce, salad dressing, bread, and ketchup. And I am the most guilty, because my mother said if I could put ketchup in coffee, I would. Take a minute, stop the video, and review this chart about how much too much sugar is a sweet thing. When sugars are hidden unrecognizably in most foods labels, it's challenging effort to eat less sugar. Europe consumes about 17 spoonfuls of sugar per day, while the U.S. consumes 21 spoonfuls per day. What happens when you start your day with a single glass of 12 ounce glass of orange juice? Orange juice contains an unbelievable nine teaspoons of sugar, about the same as a 12 ounce can of Coke. This comes to 36 grams of carbs, about half of what you should digest in a day. Take a minute and watch out for the hidden sugars. Look at all the different names that the sugar has. And of course, the one in red is high fruits corn syrup because corn is cheap to manufacture and turns into sugar in abundance. How did we get to this point? In 1978, the Sugar Trade Association started their public relations campaign to make sugar appear as a healthy food. The International Sugar Organization, yes, international, seeks to promote the trade in and consumption of sugar by gathering and publishing information on the sugar market, research into new uses and related products as a forum for intergovernmental discussion on sugar. As of May 2015, its membership consists of the European Union and 61 other countries. And guess what? One of them is the USA. The, U, the sugar PR campaign has been a huge success because 100 years ago, humans consumed four pounds of sugar a year. Now we consume over 100 pounds a year. Now we wonder where did all this fat come from? And this is the answer. Uh, in fact, over here you have the 24th ISO seminar moving towards a sweeter future. That was November 17th to the 18th, 2015 in London. They are 80% of the 600 food produce products sold in the U.S. have added sugar. And this is a concerted effort to have us consume more sugar. And what happens to sugar that the body can use? Insulin, the sugar storing hormone, turns it into fat. When the food industry saw an opportunity to grow profits by introducing low-fat products, they replaced the fat with sugar because low-fat has no taste. 
In fact, researchers have shown that the sugar industry is using the same tactics of misinformation of, and denial of the tobacco industry. Like tobacco, sugar is addictive. Sugar creates a craving for more sugar because of the high it gives us. Can you think of any holiday or special occasion that not conclude consumer sugary sweets? Birthday cake, wedding cake, anniversary cake. Name just one that does not include sweets. Up here on the upper right hand side are confidential uh, material that was found from a company that had gone out of business and uh, they had a confidential public communications committee all the way back in 1975 to mislead us to consume more sugar. It is a legal injustice that has been done to our food industry over the last 40 years. The timeline of obesity, diabetes, and all the other fat-related diseases follow the timeline of the food industry. Sugar is highly addictive because it causes massive dopamine release in the brain. So if you are struggling with obesity, think of what they do to the geese and you will understand what the sugar industry is doing to us. If you want to get uh, a full information, a lot of this information came from a documentary called Sugar Coated. And uh, you can find it on Netflix. So think about the goose as you're eating that cake. Think about that goose as you're eating that bread. Think about that goose as you're adding ketchup and eating those hamburger rolls. See you on the next video. Please pass this on to everybody in your world. Everybody that's a human being struggling with weight loss and obesity. Bye-bye. See you on the next video. The Saturday Morning Diet is trying to get the word out and we need your help. Please share this information with every human being that you know. As the soup Nazi is saying, no carbs for you. Please tell a friend, share our products and our information, and like us on Facebook. Go to JoanBars.com to subscribe and get free Joan Bars meal replacement recipe. Our recipe is only 100 calories per uh, Joan Bar that you make at home for free. Just get subscribed, get access to your free guide, a 10-page weight loss report, and the Joan Bars recipe for merely subscribing to our newsletter. Go to SaturdayDiet.com to learn about our weight loss e-course packages. Again, please spread the word. Let everybody know the truth of what's happening to us. It's not about being lazy. It's not about willpower. It's about eating too many carbs and the refined diet. As I told you, it's only been 100 years since industrialized uh, food industry has changed our diet on us. And we were totally oblivious. See you on the next video. Please share the word. Bye-bye.